Welcome back to the Gypsy Life. This is the Alaskan Gypsy, an 80-foot steel, triple-masted schooner that we're working on in the shipyards in Wrangell, Alaska. It's got severe electrolysis damage. Here's an area around the stern tube that you can see it's got even some holes in there it looks like, but just sort of broad distributed divots and pitting. That's the area I'm going to be working. We've got some blue sky for a change. Here's another area that I have already started on before it got dark, and then we had a big rainy spell, so need to come back and just finish. I'm really just focusing on thickening the thin spots in the hull with uh, stick welding. Here's my Miller Maxstar 161S welder. It's doing a great job running on 220 volt power. So this is the area I'm really going to be focused on mostly. It's the worst zone, but while I'm working, I'll weld some other areas too, like this area on the very back of the hull there. The welds have kind of dissolved away, and some other areas on the other side too that could use a little attention. First thing is to get that zinc off out of the way. It hasn't been pressure washed under there, so... I'm using wet, soaking wet carpets as my ground mat. And welding on these thicker areas down on the keel is really nice because I can actually use a uh, heavier rod. I'm using 8th inch 6011 for my first passes in this kind of situation. It has really good penetration. And the 8th inch is a nice size for not too much heat, but um, depositing enough metal in a big enough puddle. Now I've switched over to uh, 6011, which is similar to 6010, really. This is also 8th inch, but it deposits a little bit more metal and penetrates a little less deep. I prefer it for building up in these areas that aren't totally clean, uh, but it can definitely handle <clears throat> a bit of crud and lays in a little bit of a fatter bead easier. I'm not too worried about the heat in these areas because the metal is so thick and there's not any spray foam backing so don't have to wait too long between welds and it can actually thank goodness weld with eighth inch rod which in this project is feeling like big rod because I spent so much time welding on thin steel some with foam backing and up above the waterline is quarter inch Below the waterline is 5 16 Done a few passes now, and here's what it looks like. One root pass with 6010, and then a couple passes with 6011. I know it's kind of ugly, but I'm just trying to keep moving and get the metal in there. It's not like I'm going to achieve a high gloss, ultra smooth, yachty finish, anyhow. So, mostly it's just about thickening up the thin spots and replacing the welds where the electrolysis had really melted it out. Back for another couple rounds here. Again, 8th inch 6011. Just working on replacing the metal that had disappeared into the Ketchikan Harbor for the most part. I'm trying to stay uh, focused on the production without getting too hot so it's kind of a constant balance of keeping moving but trying not to focus too much heat in any one area because there's definitely some mystery as to what is behind all this actually not sure what's inside of this keel region but so now I'm grinding this is usually we'll do a few passes just wire brush cup wire brush on the four inch angle grinder between passes and then once I feel like I've built up enough I'll switch over to um, grinding to kind of shape it thin it down a little bit now I'm working up higher uh, where I had some thin areas not only in the dissolved seam there along the keel line but also had a few thin areas near them I've removed the foam backing on these are areas are in the lazarette and I've switched over here probably to yeah it's the 330 seconds 6011 so a little bit smaller rod for up there and try not to get too much heat so I'll take a break go back down on the keel 
do another pass or two with the eighth inch 6011. I got about an hour and a half or so of welding in with the pauses and I don't know if you can see in the background but my blue sky has disappeared <laughs> and there was quite the looming rain cloud coming so I was trying to get a little bit of finished grinding on it done knowing that this might be my last chance working here for today. Quick pass with the wire wheel. Well, looks like it's over for the sunshine for now. One thing I've noticed is that the rain comes in quick in Wrangell. Sometimes it goes away quick, but it certainly comes in quick. Here's a little view of after a bit of welding. Got most of the metal filled back in. It's not real pretty, but got to keep in perspective that the entire hull is pretty covered in electrolysis divots and if I get stuck trying to get it perfect I'll never get her back in the water so this might be good enough I might call this good enough for now we'll see might fair it out with epoxy but for now it, the structure is back in and I better go put some things away that are getting rained on